Hello darlings, it is I, Rebecca. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. Um, and hello regulars. Regulars. Uh, <laughs> okay, don't forget to check the links down below. And I have new merch out. I know, how wonderful. Everyone loves pink. So go check that out at this link now. Well, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can. It's really nice and it's smooth. Okay, let's get to it. I'll stop yibbity yabbity jibbity jabbity um ing and let's just get straight to it. I am excited. When you were here before, I can look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. What? Caught him. They're just like an angel. Oh, the skin makes me cry. is that to stretch his mouth? What is that? You feel like a feather. Ah, oh, shit. A beautiful world. Best lyrics. Dot com. I wish I was special. Yeah. Shit. Ah. Oh. Fudge cake. Oh God, it's making me. God, I'm not gonna go down that road of crying because it's just, I was, I was just not gonna pause. Anyway, anyway, technical. I was just, I'm so, flabbergasted by the whole you know what i mean it was like does he have a tick i'm honestly asking i find i think this song is one of the most iconic songs for so many people out there i'm not going to talk too much about the song itself that's like a separate video of 900 hours you have to give it some justice this video won't because I just want to talk so much about it. If you want me to, let me know and i'll just like talk so much about it absolutely imperative what he is singing is encapsulated and also mirroring an american sorry i have to say it, for the the lyrical content how he's singing it how he's displaying it fine i find i love radiohead and of course i know this song and millions of other of the songs i can't talk it really got me already that that hook line and sync mumbly singing i mean we allow so much don't we we allow so much because of the the emotionality of this song and how much we love it. I say we, because we, does anyone hate it? I don't know. It's so not nice to say, is it? And the kind of mumbling, so, and there's so much context behind this song. You know, the, the whole someone not loving you back kind of notion. Feeling that he's so enthralled in this and his performance and his style and his, I mean, not the best singer, but there's something charismatic about his singing or something interesting that holds you so deep. Sorry. Not sorry. Look how close the mic is. Well, it sounds pitchy, but I don't know if that's the recording. And the tempo seems so. Oh, I'm the perfect soul. It's like, hang on. Ah. I love the audience singing as well. I love. Oh, you mean it? He, you feel it. Rock with him. I mean, it. Sorry. Dimly. Uh, bit of compression now, bit of power. Not a lot of power in his voice, but sometimes less is more, and that kind of weaving you in. I don't belong here. It's sort of like just screaming it out, that kind of thing. So the storytelling is unfolding and mirrors the the nature of his voice and it's it's very poetic and the actual lyrical content as well is absolutely 
It's just something about those words and it's just delicately sung and I think there are pitch issues going on, like it's going quite flat. I think I read somewhere that he's he was quite sick of singing this song, a little bit like Kurt Cobain singing Smells Like Teen Spirit, so sorry about that. I don't know, there's, I think there's truth in that, I think I read. But there's a bit of call, call, um, compression going on here and he sort of tails off, it's quite quite a sort of like uh, with this sort of mumbling type singing, so the, the, not great diction, but the style of the song doesn't matter, doesn't matter. This bit is the best bit. <laughs> Sorry, my dancing. Chip and chips, mate, monkey business. Oh, I love him so much. Listen. Breathe. You are. Special. It's barely singing, mate. What happened? Shit, that sustain note. What is that? What are you doing? I love that. I would say standing ovation, but they're already doing it. Well, how wonderful that engagement then, that power, that support that he had, and it kind of comes from nowhere. It was like a fire or a fire rocket. A firework coming from his belly, quite literally exploding out and sustaining and keeping that emotionality, that core. This song doesn't work without emotion. It doesn't work, you know? Well, maybe it does and I haven't seen anyone sing it like that, but you have to bring it with emotion and so much, there's just so much complexity to the song, I think. Um, and it's so relatable, you know? Well, I relate to it. I know someone's like, how do you relate to it? I'm like, trust me, I have. And the teenage angst, the depression, the anxiety that a lot of us go through, you know, without getting too into that with this, but do you know what I mean? Like that relatable, like, I don't belong here. I'm not good enough. The self-belief system, you know, like how you're feeling. And then it, the, the, I just love, I don't know. It's just such a, like then I just wanted to cry throughout and that's not going to help anyone. Do you know what I mean? And and how it moves you and how it affects you. And he really went for it. There was like rasp, slight distortion to his voice. And he was really going for it. So way more compression, closure. And the fact he's closing his eyes and he, he's giving the audience what they want. And I love you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> hashtag never stop singing. Hashtag you're never alone. Hashtag be yourself. It's the only way to be. I don't belong here. Yeah, anyway, I did a cover. That's how much I love it. Sorry. Fangirl. Disgusting. Okay, I love you. Bye. Bloody dirty. <gasps> Hello.